Hello again. It's Mr. Sinclair from Cell. Now, you've seen our other video of our cell. We've now made another one. But we've lost all the cable clips, as you'll see. All gone. And we've heavy dutied it up a bit. I'll just put that there. Now we're going to be a little bit more scientific this time in that we have 12.59 volts you can see the battery it's not very big just a little 12 volt but it's fully charged the last time we did this we had a right carry on so now we've toughened it up we immerse it in the water and if my assistant would just hold the camera one moment just there whilst we connect I'll leave Robinson this you know <laughs> I need a bigger workshop we're just doing this in a corner of it at the moment it's not really what we do but uh, we're very pleased with it Now, before we go any further, let's say, uh, I'm going to have to at the moment, I haven't got enough time to do all that, but I'll give you the volts. That is just tap water, Yorkshire tap water, with a bit of electrolyte from an old battery, and we, we have cleaned it up since last time because it was getting a bit murky. We've toughened up the wires because we, we had a fire the other day, <laughs> as you do. Um, now, we do have a hydrometer. Just one moment, I'll go and find it because I don't think my assistant will know what that is. He's only young. Now, you're all asking for more details, so here we go. Let's see what the specific gravity is at the moment. Where's the... I think I need a bigger thing for there, will not I? Well, it's 12.50, this particular bit. It's saying 12.50. This is a, a different battery to one we used the other day, of course, it's a bit more charged. <laughs> and we put a white paper on so you could maybe see. Now the thing is, there's our cell. Now, I can get this to connect without too much trouble. We connect with that. About 12.6. Oops. Now it's gone down to 10.78. Now what's happening in the jar, we ask? Well, this is what's happening in the jar. We should get a very large bubble soon. This is what we've been finding after a time, and there, there we're getting a few. After about a minute or so, every minute we're getting a larger bubble on this. And then it, it tended to go to... I have to be very careful, because a lot of hydrogen are on now, and uh, I've got this connection nearly. It should start doing a really big bubble soon. Yep, well, no, little bubbles, little bubbles. There we go. Yeah. There are some of the bigger bubbles coming off. Maybe I haven't got it deep enough this time, but I was trying to let you see what was happening there. Earlier on, we had some really big bubbles. Doesn't seem to be doing it now. 
unless we're not waiting long enough. Yeah. Ah, there, do you see that? That's what we're starting to get. As it goes on, it builds up. We're at 10.73 volts now. 10.8, 10 10.8283. It's around about 11 volts. It's taken from a battery. And this is one little cell. We're getting tons of hydrogen off. You can actually, I don't know if you can actually see it. If you look here, you can actually see it rising up now. And it stinks. It really does. As it would do. Now even with these thick wires it's getting quite warm. Whoa, there we go, some really big bubbles there. When it's got more in it does tend to have more bubbles for some reason. Let's see if we can get some... 10.68 now, 10.7, 10.5. It goes up and down according to the amount of bubbles uh, I gather. But it's working very well. This is just one cell. We intend to put ten together. And it's getting a little warm. So I'm going to turn it off now. Now, what we've got, we've gone back to 12 volts without a load on. I know you want amps, but uh, not too set up for that at the moment. But we will be soon. And it goes back to that. Now, which is pretty quiet. Still a few coming off. We've tried it in plain water, not a thing, but there was some sort of movement. So one day I'm going to try sea water just out of interest. I've tried sea salt, it doesn't work. Um, just didn't mess about with electrolytes, but we seem to be getting a very good one with this. Uh, we'll be another video, if you look on YouTube, there'll be another one in a minute. So I'm going to turn this off and we're going to fill this up a bit further and film it from another angle. So thanks for looking. You know, I hope you like it and it inspires you. If you can see, there is an actual big bubble occurring between the two plates. I think you can just about see that. Now what we want to do is get rid of that bubble and have it out here. The strange thing is that those plates aren't touching each other, yet we've got a bubble there and you'd think it would come out through a mesh. So we maybe think, well, what if we did one with a few little, a few larger holes in it to try to get it to, uh, to do a bit more? What if we did it inverted? We'll run it inverted in a few minutes. We'll put that on the other video. Thanks for watching. This is Keith Sinclair from Cell, our latest little wonder. We will be progressing with this as time goes on, so keep watching. Bye for now.